In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a very simple delta G calculation involving non-standard conditions uh, for a reaction involving phosphocreatine. Phosphocreatine will donate a phosphate to ADP, forming ATP. This happens during the first few seconds of intense exercise in the skeletal muscles as well as in the in the brain tissue. All right, so <clears throat> first thing that we want to find is the KEQ, and really you can do part B without finding part A, but I wanted to show you how to find the KEQ for this one to begin with. And so for KEQ, we want to assume, or it is a standard condition, so we're assuming that it's 25 degrees Celsius. And we're going to use the formula delta G equals negative RT ln of KEQ. <clears throat> so this T is going to be in terms of Kelvin, so we're actually going to use 298 Kelvin here. And then we already have our delta G. We know that our R, in this case, we have the delta G in terms of kilocalories per mole, so our R is actually going to be 1.99 times 10 to the negative third kilocalorie per mole Kelvin. All right, so let's just plug everything in and solve for KEQ. Equals negative 1.99 times 10 to the negative third. <clears throat> and then our temperature here is going to be 298 Kelvin. And then we're solving for this natural log term. So when we do this, just want to divide out what's on the right hand side. And we are going to get five point zero two five, which equals natural log kq. Now we need to get rid of that natural log term. So in order to do that, we take it to the exponent. <clears throat> and that is going to equal 152. So that's our KEQ. You can see that the products are favored under standard conditions. So now let's do the delta G under non-standard conditions, more like conditions we would see in the cell. <clears throat> so in order to do this, we're going to use the formula delta G equals delta G naught plus RT ln of Q. Our, our um, T is different in this case, it's actually going to be 310 Kelvin because we're under the conditions of uh, bodily function, which would be 37 degrees Celsius. And then we have our delta G standard, which is negative 2.98, and we're going to calculate this. We have our Q, because we calculate Q using these concentrations. So let's do that. Our products are going to be creatine and ATP. And so those are going to go in the numerator, and then phosphocreatine ATP is going to go in the denominator. So we have one millimolar. In this case, we don't have to convert these to molar because we have four of them. So the, the, the concentrations are actually going to cancel out. If there was an unequal number on the top and the bottom, like say if you had one on the bottom and two on the top, for example, or vice versa, you would need to convert to molar because the units would not uh, cancel out in that case. <clears throat> then ATP, which is 2.6 millimolar. And then we have ADP, 0.73 millimolar. And phosphocreatine, 4.7 millimolar. <clears throat> then when we do this, we actually get a Q of point. 758, and then we're going to plug that in here and solve for the delta G. Negative 2.98 plus R. R in this case again is 1.99 times 10 to the negative third. And then T is going to be 310, we're running out of room. And then LN of 
<clears throat> so we'll do that term here times e10 times natural log of 0.758 and this we get negative 0 0.170 I guess we should do this 2.98 plus that negative 2.98 rather And when we do that, we're going to get negative 3.15 kilocalories per mole. So we would say that this is actually, whoops, this is actually more spontaneous than uh, at standard conditions. All right, I hope that was helpful.